Welcome back. In this video, we'll be setting up our page with all the different libraries that we need. So right now in, the, in our last video, we create this index file and change the text to say hello world and code with more. So I'm going to delete this out in Sublime. If I type in HTML, it will automatically give me a default uh, syntax, everything that I need. For my HTML5, it will put this in here, header, title, body text, and everything else. But if you don't have, if you're using Notepad++, you may want to copy this by pausing the video. So I'll wait about five seconds so you can type this in. One, two, three, four, five. But if you need more time, obviously just pause the video and then put this in your Notepad++ text editor. All right. So with this title text, I'll just put in PHP log in system and then just save it. And then under the title text, I will create a line that says script tag and then it will give you this version. But I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type this in. All right, so these two lines are the ones that we will be needing to add in our library. The first line is for all the JavaScripts. Second line is for our CSS files. So I'm going to copy the JavaScript line about four times. So there we go. So first I'm going to add in the jQuery. So I'm going to go into the jQuery part right here and then just click on the mini versions. Literally just copy this line, come back in here and then just paste it and do the same thing for my Twitter bootstrap. I'm going to go in here and then copy the mini version and Paste it in here. And then for my awesome library function, awesome function library, I'm just going to copy it in the mini version and then go back in here and paste it. So I have all my jQuery, so I don't need an extra line. I mean, all my JavaScript. So now I need my CSS. So I'm going to copy this line and then go back to Twitter and then copy in the bootstrap mini version of it CSS and then I'm going to paste it in here and then go back to the awesome font library and copy the mini version of that CSS All right, so now we have everything we need. Now we can get started. So just show you once again, go in here and then add a P tag, call it hello world. And then and close tag. And now if we go back to our regular local hosts website, page so if i refresh this now as you can see right now it says localhost up top which is the site title and then if you look at the source code you will see there is nothing to look at there is no source code whatsoever so now if i refresh it nothing changed on the front side but it does say hello world so now if we look at the source code now we have all this syntax, all the library we needed. Now we can get started by building our PHP login system. And I will see you guys in the next video.